Welcome back, time for another one and uh, we'll continue on the letter D today in my tape collection and first up we have the one playing in the background Dotsrit uh, and this is his self-titled debut and this release is released by Blood Soap Records and uh, I managed to get this one it's on a blank red shell and uh, all the art is red as well uh, and I think this is the first release uh, press uh, it's the first release but the first press as well and uh, this is one band if you have followed me you will see I have a Dead Street special uh, on my vinyl collection episodes uh, where I go through all the different presses I have uh, on his two albums I think I have four uh, on this release uh, and I think I'm missing two one or two uh, so yeah then I have this tape and uh, it's black and crust and it's really great then we have Dutch Street again in a box and this time it's released by Wolves of Hades limited edition came with a pin and a pro printed tape also came with a patch uh, but I have that one on my vest so yeah uh, and this is also the self title as that one we are listening to then we have the follow up Spirit Crusher also released by Wolves of Hades The guy uh, running Wolves of Hades are pla playing uh, guitar in Dot Street uh, these days. Uh, at first it was a solo project, but now they're a full band. So they've been in the studio and recorded their third release. So uh, keep a lookout after that one. It will surely be great. And this looks like this credits and stuff in here as well and I have five vinyl versions of this one I'm missing one I think and I also have a test press so that's really nice it's one of those bands that I'm collecting everything I can with them just because I think they're so fucking good then we have Dormant Seed with the release A Sad Memory just a blank Shell, but with a good quality J card with some really nice art in it as well and this is black metal released by depressive illusions and then we have dr. ace tone comes on a black shell with the uh, stickers and a really simple J car sadly these guys aren't active anymore uh, I guess you could say that it's 
some type of stoner metal uh, but with really harsh vocals uh, growling so uh, really nice mixture uh, check them out really nice stuff and then we have Drave or Drave don't know how to pronounce that uh, Canadian uh, atmospheric black metal really raw sounding really nice uh, Terror is this release black pro, pro printed tape uh, got some really nice songs on this one uh, this isn't the first press the first press was uh, blue green ish uh, but uh, when I saw this repress I just had to have it it was expensive as fuck but it was worth it and this is also a signed copy as you can see here so really good nice to have this one uh, since it was sent from Canada uh, the tape itself was about 11 bucks or something 10 bucks but uh, all the postage and custom fees that we have here in Sweden because it's just stupid uh, I think I paid around 28 or 29 bucks for it in total so the postage cost more than the tape completely insane then we have a tape I haven't opened it's actually by a band I don't like so I might sell this one just got this as a bonus when I ordered some vinyls and stuff from a place and it's dreadful fate just a black simple quite simple J card as well the release is the sin of Sodom and yeah probably will sell this one because it's not my kind of music it's very trash metal and I really don't like that stuff even it got some harsh vocals but no doesn't work then we have Druadan Forest with the Lost Dimension atmospheric black metal with some folkish undertones really nice stuff transparent pro printed tape and a really nice J card as well and this is released on Wolf Spell Records really nice J card A really great album so check it out and that's all for this episode folks so uh, next time we'll continue I think I have some stuff on D left uh, and then we we'll go through the next letters E and F have a nice one